all heard about trying to get the work-life balance right, but what about the work-faith balance? Sometimes it's all too easy to hang up our faith on the door on the way into work. But one group of Christian firefighters from the Northern Ireland Fire and Rescue Service meet up regularly to help each other deal with the difficult situations they are called to face. Fire guys. When firefighters respond to a 999 emergency call, they have to be prepared for any situation, as Watch Commander Paddy Quinn from OMA knows only too well. That's a house fire. And according to this, there's two persons reported. The police have phoned it in. Yeah. Okay, sir. Michael, you got it covered. Okay. Even for experienced firefighters like Paddy, it can be traumatic when the call is to attend a serious incident. Through the troubles in Northern Ireland, the biggest loss of life in one incident was Zuma bomb. Paddy was one of the firefighters on watch in Oma back in 1998, when the real IRA exploded a car bomb in the centre of the market town. For us as firefighters, they have to go and deal with that. It was very traumatic. I'd never witnessed a scene like it, especially since you knew people. People were asking me to help them. and. It was just like the most impossible thing to do was to help that day because there was so much need. And as a firefighter, you felt so helpless. And it's something that I never talked about for years. Just respect for the families and nobody needed to know the trauma. You sort of parked it in the back of your mind, but every now and again, it came back to you. And Robert initially asked me... Because of the nature of their the work, firefighters are encouraged to talk about their experiences. I tried to check out firefighters for and one of the organisations in Northern Ireland that can provide support is Firefighters for Christ. Once a month, the group meets in Belfast, and it's the job of one of the founding members to cook up a hearty breakfast. Primarily, Firefighters Christ is about encouraging firefighters to live their lives for Jesus Christ. We have trained chaplains within Firefighters for Christ. We also have counselling facilities within Firefighters for Christ that people that are having issues, either family issues, finances, or are just not dealing with life well. It's quite a difficult job in the sense that there's a lot that you can take home with you, what you've seen and what you've had to cope with. A lot of the times on the station, you might be the only Christian on the station, not just the watch, but potentially on the station altogether. So it's nice to have other guys there that have a faith. Firefighters for Christ is a worldwide organisation, and as part of their mission work, Paddy recently visited Uganda, where they support a children's home. These people are just so alive in, in their love of God and their praise of God. We were able to bring funds out to them, we were able to bring clothes in, pay for the new roof on the emergency relief building. And they were also there to train local firefighters and deliver free life-saving equipment. Firefighters throughout the world are firefighters. We have a brotherhood, we have a bond. And in that bond is we want to be able to save people. So, yes, we want to help them save themselves, save others with these practical techniques of rescue. But ultimately, our main goal is that we rescue their spiritual lives. If you take Jude 23, it says exactly what firefighters do to snatch others from the fire and save them. Good morning, church. Three zero seconds, 30 seconds. Firefighters, we serve because our name says service, whether it be in a really serious situation such as Zuma Bomb. Equally as important is when we go to an old lady who's burnt her crew and, and is in distress, and we go and help her. And it's shown me that I don't need to be in a church to serve. We can all serve our communities in whatever place we're at.